Welcome to Take 5, your 5-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drogheda. As you've no doubt been watching the news unfold with what's happening in the Ukraine, I've been reflecting on many friends that I've made there over the years. I remember one occasion in particular, whenever I was in the city of Donetsk, a city that now, by the way, is under Russian occupation. And I arrived there to teach a series of seminars for pastors who traveled from churches all around the city and the surrounding region. And as those pastors all gathered together, by the way, they were all Russian-speaking pastors. Everything was done in Russian, uh, but everyone very much felt part of the Ukraine. Uh, but as we, were, as we were teaching there, I remember that the heating broke down and it was in the middle of winter. And I mean, there were icicles inside the building and it was so cold. And I wrapped myself up with every bit of clothing I took with me. I was wearing it at the same time. And these pastors sat there and nine hours a day, they sat in freezing cold. They were so hungry uh, to learn, so hungry to learn and know how they could lead their congregations forward. And I remember whenever I was leaving, I was just looking forward to getting back home into warmth, to be honest. And I was at the airport and we boarded the flight and there was a, a dreadful snowstorm. And I was wondering if we were going to be able to take off at all. And uh, they put us onto the plane and then we sat and we watched the snow plows trying to clear the way off. And then uh, they took us back off the plane again, took us back into the airport terminal. We waited about an hour. The snow appeared to let up a little bit. So they put us back onto the plane again. And then after sitting on the plane for about another hour, uh, the, the pilot came back with a sheet of paper. And he basically said, listen, everybody, what do you want us to do? We can take off or we can stay where we are and try again tomorrow. And at that stage, we all just wanted to go. We said, go, just take off, have a go at it. And he made us sign the piece of paper to say that if anything happened to us, uh, he was not liable, that we accepted responsibility for any accident that might happen. Now, during the time when we had been in the terminal, I had been talking with a guy. He was a, a, a lawyer. He was a British human rights lawyer who was there doing some work in the Ukraine. And he was on his way back. And uh, we, were flying, we were flying from Donetsk uh, out to, to we, we had to go to Kiev and then on to London. So anyway, he's there and he, he's been, I've been trying to witness to him and he's been sharing with me that he was an atheist. And, and yet whenever it was just getting near to take off, he moved, I had an empty seat beside me and he moved from where he was sitting and came and sat beside me on the plane. Uh, and I says, uh, oh, all right, you, you want to chat again, do you? He says, I just want to sit beside you. And I says, why do you want to sit beside me? He said, well, he said, I've been thinking about what you said. He said, now I'm an atheist. I don't believe in God. He said, but you obviously do. And he said, just in case there is a God, if we end up in an accident and, you know, crash while we're taking off, he said, I reckon God's going to look after you because you're about his business. So he said, just in case, I'm going to hedge my bets and I want to sit beside you because I think the seat beside you is probably uh, the safest place on the airplane. I said, OK, that sounds good to me. And so we got a chance to talk and share some more. Now, look, I didn't lead him to Christ on the plane or anything like that. But I've often looked back to that occasion and I've chuckled in that sometimes I've met Christians who don't believe as much in the protection of God for his people as that atheist did. Now today I'm praying protection over my Ukrainian friends and I pray protection over you also wherever you're watching or listening to this message in Jesus name. May God bless you richly and join us again next time for another Take 5, your five minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drogheda.